y'all doing? Hope y'all doing pretty good, man. I'm just peachy, peachy, peachy. This is what I got here. Look at that. Oh. I, I'm trying, um, this is, uh, steamed vegetables, vegetable heads, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, and potatoes, which I'm not a broccoli fan, nor a cauliflower fan, but I have had cauliflower pizza before, and it tasted pretty good. I'm going to be trying this, and I have some Sicilian sausages. Yeah, look at that. That gonna be yours, but get what? I'm going to eat it. Mm-hmm. We about to get this in, y'all. Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless this food. I'm about to put it in my body and nourish it in Jesus' name. Amen. So basically, I got some steamed vegetables and uh, might as well say Italian sausage, uh, Sicilian sausage. That's what it is. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming to my channel. I appreciate it so much, guys. I appreciate the support you, support you have been giving me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we about to get this in, y'all. Mm-hmm. I add some seasoning to my uh, vegetables. Once after we get this in, let me tell you something. We're going to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. We're going to have ourselves a little conversation. I want to see my last video that I put out. I was talking about uh, some, uh, some, some people that I watch their channel. Yeah, we're going we gonna, to we gonna get an update in. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. I thought I'd put this, um, I gotta start putting some vegetables. This, um, these vegetables, it's something new from the grocery store. They packed it all together. Comes in a packet. And, um, they frozen vegetables and you can steam them for seven to eight minutes. Mm-hmm. I don't eat too many vegetables. It's like healthy food, so I need to start. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the broccoli, but hey, that'll do what you gotta do, huh? Get them vegetables in. Mm-mm. Gotta do what you gotta do.
Mm-hmm. I love these sausages. Best when they have more um pizza. Mm-hmm. Maybe if I eat uh, enough carrots, I won't have to wear glasses. Hey, what? Man, it's good. to eat some grass, I'd go out in front of my house and just pull the grass up and eat that. I don't know why I thought it would taste like grass. That's what it looked like. Look like that good grass. It'd be on your lawn. Mm -hmm. I tried it. It had a certain taste. I can't really taste it. I want to say the cauliflower is kind of sweet, a little sweet, but I think if you season it, that'll help you get through with it. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. You get a pack. You get a pack for a dollar twenty nine of these vegetables. Mm hmm Of course I love potatoes and carrots. And what's so crazy? I bought some vegetables to put in my dog food. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. I sure did. And they eat it all the way up. They love it. Mm hmm. 
I ain't getting them none of this meat though. Can't have that. Mmm. It's good, child. It's good. Let me tell you something. As I watch my, that mic, let me call it, as the YouTube turns. You ever heard of as the word turns? Mm -hmm. YouTube, YouTube is a uh, soap opera, reality soap opera. It really is. Now, first I want to send out a congrats to Kicking It with Sin City and Chilling with Walt. I want to send out a congrats to those two. They've gotten back together. Excuse me. They were engaged. They've gotten back together. And they planned a date to get married. Shout out to you two guys. Now, this is what's so funny. You have a beloved wife who did a interview with Chilling with Walt. Which B Love's life is Chilling with Walt sister. She got him on for its YouTube and I wanna say the two some months that Walt uh was out of set life <laughs> it was so much drama. And Walt, let me say this. That is what you call negative energy that was being drawn to you. Because of, and, and, and it's hilarious because the people that was, some of the people that were supporting you, they were your subscribers. They started making channels. They started making tea channels. And they just got all into your business like that. And I'm going to tell you something. When it comes to the tea, I'm here for the messy stuff. It's too funny. It's hilarious. Because you know what? It amazes me how you have people that support you. How they express their opinion on how they feel. It's just their opinion. And that's something apparently you are not used to that kind of attention. And I get it. Because 
You just want to live your life. That's almost like saying, let me let me see. Who 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 can I? That's almost like saying, I don't even know who can I say. But like a famous person. It's almost like saying a, a person that is known from being in uh on people's device for whether it's their laptop their tv their phone if you are a person that constantly see this person excuse me if you constantly see this person and then you like the content that they're bringing out guess what you subscribe to them and then you follow their life now you may not be looking at it that way, but you have people that are. They're looking at it, oh wow. Because it was so interesting to me just to see how these people, and what I mean by these people or your subscribers, there's a difference than subscriber and a supporter. There is a total difference in my opinion. And the reason why I say that is because you have a subscribe, someone who will subscribe to your channel. They're not going to look through your whole channel all the way through. They're going to skip. They're not going to give you a thumbs up. That can be a subscriber. They just subscribe to your channel. That's it. Subscribe to your channel. You have your supporters who, if they look, at your video, they're going to look at it all the way through. They're not going to skip through it. They're going to look at it like they're looking at television. Commercial come on, they're not going to click through that commercial. They're going to watch your video. Most definitely. If they have an opinion, they're going to make a comment, whether it's good or bad or indifferent. They're going to, whether it's thumbs up or thumbs down, they're going to do all of that. That's a supporter. You had people that were doing reviews on your channel and the young lady, Nisha, that you were with, <laughs> I mean, they was going in on her because she wasn't delivering them the information that she wanted to deliver. They, they was clueless as to exactly who she was. They was clueless. And they felt the rift. Now, with that being said, I can almost guarantee you, at any point that they keep coming after her, Nisha knows how to troll, most definitely. She know how to troll. If they troll her, she troll them back. This is what's so interesting to me. All I kept hearing was uh, Lipstick Alley. Lipstick Alley. It's so interesting. You Google lis Lipstick Alley. You Google Lipstick Alley. Let me tell you something. I want to say the T channel that probably is the most professional that I have seen was what's, what's the tea? What's the tea? It's like that person knows exactly what they're doing. They know what they're doing. And uh, the software that they use, real good. Real good content. They, have re they bring real good content. Some of the other ones, uh-uh. They, some of the other T channels sort of remind me that does that person get their form from Lipstick Alley? So what I did, uh, because you have people that did reviews on Lipstick Alley. Very interesting. I looked up uh, Lipstick Alley. Um, when I look, I Google Lipstick Alley, uh, it's got people, people ask questions. Lipstick Alley is a forum that, um, 
deals with uh, celebrity news and gossip. They deal with all of that. And I want to say if you, con you being an influencer, because you do to YouTube, anyone that does YouTube, whether they know it or not, they are an influencer. People look at them and may want to do as them. Rather, it's good, bad, or indifferent. Regardless, you you may have one of those channels that uh, you can have a you can have a person that have a channel that is so messy, which I consider those channel those channels drama channels when that person is real messy but they can't continue to do that they would have to revamp they would actually have to revamp their channel most definitely because it's going to grow fast a drama channel will go uh grow faster than any other channel for us what i see now with Lipstick Alley, people have been asking questions about it, and uh, there was a question asked, you know, Google search, pull all this up, these are the top questions that they asked. People ask, what is Lipstick Alley? I tell you what. You can get on your phone and Google what is Lipstick Alley. It's going to give you a different uh, reading than it would a computer. This is what it says on a computer. What is Lipstick Alley? I found this to be so interesting. Lipstick Alley is a place where angry, insecure black women gather to vent their frustration when being dark-skinned. That's interesting. It obvious, it's obvious uh, that most of them went through trauma as children and now suffer suffers from mental illness. This is what it said. You go on the computer and Google it. In the search, it's going to give you this information. Who, who are the black women on Lipstick Alley? And now, it said Lips Lipstick Alley is populated by delusional, middle-aged, neat black, black women who think they are the first to get all the good sauce on celebrity gospel and other quakery, they are wrong because it is all hearsay and bull. Mm, someone pulled out there. Mm. Everyone on L on Lipstick Alley is a. Hypersensitive, angry, and bitter. Now, I went, this is what I did. So, I was looking into some stuff on Lipstick Alley. Uh, I was doing research, and it's very interesting because you have some of the comments you have people that are on there that are trying to get out of their uh, membership i guess i don't know maybe they pay for a membership or something to uh get on that form i don't know but um seems like they do i'm not exactly for sure because I've never became a member on there. I was curious as to what it was. And, excuse me, you have, you have videos on YouTube where uh, someone, uh, you have a few people that does a review and then you have uh, some that uh, do videos uh, on uh, Lipstick Alley. It's very interesting. 
very interesting. So apparently anyone that is doing uh, anyone that is doing uh, that is on that form apparently uh, their videos when they go in on people them drama channels which I'm, a, I'm, I'm just assuming some of allegedly some of those drama channels dealing with lipstick alley some of them are because they just too messy they just too messy and um it's sad that you have all of this drama that's being created and then when you speak speak the truth like like um you and what well, you and sent getting back they're gonna create something on that Oh, he just, he just, he just like, no, he's not. This is the woman that he wants to be with. Let him be with her. Simple as that. That is crazy. And I sit back and I just laugh at them drama channels because you know what? I'm going to tell you in a minute, they're going to be going after each other. When they go after each other, because they know exactly what it do when it comes to drama. And I read so someone was trying to find out. I read that someone was trying to find out who is the owner uh, of that channel. So they couldn't get an answer because they was, I want to say they was, I don't know if they was talking to a bot or what, but at any point they didn't get an answer. And I started looking into things and I said, well, let me see how can I get an answer in this, that, and other. Where exactly is it going to lead me to? Well, let me tell you where it led me to. There is no Pacific owner of Lipstick Alley. There is uh, four different, uh, I want to say four different categories that deal with people who deal with uh, Lipstick Alley. You have the administrator, which her name begins with a C. I'm not going to say her name. You have someone in the technology department. Uh, you have, when I looked up this information, it had who is, when it asks who's the owner, is who is a uh, private contract. So, after I looked who he, I looked up who is. Who is is a privacy, some kind of privacy company. It wouldn't give you the exact, but then somehow who is is linked to GoDaddy.com. Now, who is? Um, they have the capability in order for them to have the capability that they have when they do their research um, they can look up people IP address interesting very interesting and they can actually look up your IP address and locate Now, let's go back. Look at me. Like I'm like I'm an investigator. You know, once upon a time, I wanted to be a private investigator. I'm just saying. But anyway. GoDaddy.com, what they do, they can set up your website. They set up the website. Um, who who is? I want to say it's not who is private privacy contract is who is privacy contact. Now that is affiliated somehow with GoDaddy.com. 
GoDaddy.com has the capability to deal with domains. Domains has something to do with IP address. Um, now, if you look at it, uh, local Libra, she has um, apparently someone was someone had uh, got her IP address. Um, I guess they found her location unless they found the location of the computer that she was utilizing and they got with that corporation. When they got with that corporation, what that corporation probably did because most of the time when you when you work in a you had a business, you cannot be on a computer. And when you go through a basic training, they will let you know that. Once you log on, I'm quite sure that it reads some information, you know, because uh, who, whatever that person did who got that IP address, they got with that corporation. What that corporation did, they did their investigation, and um, that's all that person had to do is get him a time. And they knew exactly who logged on to their computer during that time. That's probably how she got caught. And, um, but if you look at it, Nisha, people have been calling her nasty Nisha, but that's messy Nisha. She she's in right along with she's in right along with those T channels. She should have been a T channel, most definitely. Because she has that capability. And I'm not saying that it was her who looked up that IP address. I'm not saying that it was her at all. But I can tell you this. She did a live. When she did a live, um Nisha did a live. And she needed for three people to super chat her, allegedly. She had, she didn't need, she had, there were three people that super chat her. And she was going to show them, give them some tea. After the three people, allegedly, uh, Super chatted her some funds. She showed walk vehicle and she covered up the plates. The same apartment where Sent was at. That was interesting. And you got people trying to figure out how did she know who is she working with? Don't be surprised if she a part of that, uh, she a part of, uh, who is that? Where she deals with a company who look up IP address. Don't be surprised at all. I'm not saying that she did, but anything can happen. Anything can happen. It's, it's, it's so funny, but you know what? This channel is not going to be a tea channel. Not, not, not at all. Not at all. This is a cooking channel, eating channel. Every now and then, if I decide to vlog, then I'll vlog. But, mainly eating. This is an eating channel, y'all. I'm, I'm just saying. But, um, yeah. Nine out of ten times, my gut feeling is telling me she managed to find out. She knew that she knew that Walt was leaving, had left her, and what she did. She got a hold of somebody that knew how to get that IP address. Yeah, excuse me. And 
That's how she was able to get that, uh, find out where that vehicle was at. There's other ways you can do it. If you had a person address, if you have that person address, um, I don't think it would give you the real time. If you Google that person address, I don't think it would give you the real time, stamp time, so that you can see that that vehicle is there. It'll give you a whole different time. But, uh, yeah. That's messy. That's messy, Nisha. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think she needs to... She, she, she may want to change that channel instead of Genuine Nisha. She may want to change it to Messy Nisha. Yeah, that fits well for her. Very well. But, um, like I said, if you poke the bear, when you poke the bear and the bear store roaring, better look out. It's coming to bite you. Most definitely. So, that's just my take on that. And, um, uh, like I said, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Hopefully, uh, Walt, you follow through with, uh, Mary and Scent, and Scent, hey, don't let them grandchildren get in front of you and Walt. I know you love them, but, hey, I just wanted to share my input in on that. I'm up and I'm out, and guess what? i see you in the next video. Take care.